Any and all measures, that's what the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles says it's willing to consider to crack down on the state's paper tag fraud problem. KXAN investigator Matt Grant has new details on what's being discussed to put the brakes on this booming black market. The agency is in overdrive to stop crooks from posing as car dealers using licenses to print and sell real temporary license plates. The Texas DMV's Legislative and Public Affairs Committee met just two days after Executive Director Whitney Brewster announced her resignation amid our investigations and turmoil over the tag problem. Among the recommendations discussed to help curb fraud, VIN number verification to make sure cars being registered aren't stolen or salvaged, tougher background checks for car dealers, including fingerprinting non-franchised applicants at their expense and conducting on-site inspections of new independent locations. Law enforcement says that's crucial, but there is a cost. Officials estimate expenses around $1 to $2 million a year, requiring on the low end 14 new investigators, a supervisor, an attorney, and 11 new vehicles. Since the board voted to immediately cut off access to anyone suspected of fraud, officials say they've already stopped a half dozen questionable dealers from printing new tags. We're, we're making progress on getting this stuff shut down? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and not only are we getting them shut off fairly quickly, we are also giving them the, the due process that uh, they're owed. And officials say they've reached out to other states to find out what's working elsewhere. This conversation will continue Thursday when the full board meets. We'll be there and, of course, we'll keep you updated. In the newsroom, Matt Grant, KXAN Investigates. Thank you, Matt. You can catch up on all of our coverage of this safety issue on our special landing page online. Go to kxan.com slash risk dash rides.